Hi guys, this is the Raspberry Pi touchscreen LCD display tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can interface a 3.2 inch touchscreen LCD display having a resistive touchscreen to your Raspberry Pi B or B+. So this tutorial is really easy. Um, you just need to plug in this display to the Raspberry Pi and then load the custom OS for this display and you'll be able to add this really cool touchscreen to any of your Raspberry Pi projects. So you can make head mounted displays using the small display or make anything actually. So um, it comes with a stylus and I'll just show you now. I have already plugged in the SD card having the custom OS. You can check out the tutorial page for getting the image file and loading it. After that, you just need to plug in this um, display to your Raspberry Pi. You just need to put it in the GPIO pins. It's in the same configuration for both Raspberry Pi B and B plus um, boards. So you don't have to worry about it. And after plugging it in, you just need to power the Raspberry Pi using your smartphone charger and now you just um, wait for a few seconds and you'll be able to see the pie booting up through the LCD display here you go so after waiting for a few seconds you can see now that the pie is booting up you can see the terminal and all the files that are being loaded. Now we have the Raspberry Pi desktop. And now you can just navigate through it. Through the stylus, you can do what you normally can on the Raspberry Pi. You can open up the menu. just do all sorts of stuff it might get a bit tricky while learning to um, navigate through the desktop using the stylus but if you are making a customized application for any of your project you can correspondingly change the interface so that it becomes really easy for a user to interact with the system so we can do anything like you normally can on the raspberry pi use the stylus it's having a resistive touch screen so it's based it detects based on the pressure you apply on the screen and yeah that's about it so this is the most according to me the cheapest and the simplest touch screen that you can add to your raspberry pi you can check out the tutorial page about instructions, more details about how to load the image files, etc. So, have fun adding this cool display to your projects and keep me posted.